In this short video, we're going to take a look at some important features in terms of calling on the WebEx wireless phone. And so up here, you can see where it says line one. That's my primary line. And I can have actually multiple lines. You can see I have actually six lines there. And those can be used independently or they can be shared. So in this example, we have a call coming in on line three, and that is shared to a Cisco IP phone. So they're gonna go ahead and answer it on the Cisco IP phone. And as you can see, even if I'm on line one, you can see that it's showing that it's actually in use, meaning that it's shared to a Cisco IP phone or another WebEx wireless phone, and they have the call active. Now, if they put it on hold, then you can see here that I can resume that call. So I'll just hit the resume button, and then I'm in the call now. And if I wanted to, sort of hand that back to the desk phone, I could easily put that on hold and then they can pick it up. So this is a great feature to have, not just multiple lines, but actually shared lines as well. Now we're gonna take a look at a feature called extension mobility. So extension mobility we have had in our desk phones for a long time, and we are bringing that to the WebEx wireless phone. So I go into Features, and then under Applications, I choose the Extension Mobility Service. And then I would just enter the user's name or ID. So I'll go ahead and enter that ID. And then after that, I would enter the user's PIN. And then once I've entered the PIN, I click Submit. And as you can see, the login is successful. And let's just give this a second to pull up the Extension Mobility Profile. And as you can see, it's logging into the directory number 6018, and it has pulled up the profile. Now, if I want to sign out, I can easily do that by simply going into the settings and then logging the user out. Of course, you can set up a policy to automatically log the users out in UC Manager, so there's that option as well. Now this brings us to another feature called line labels. So as you can see, instead of 6018, it's actually showing Charles Holland because I have configured that on the line label. So this is a new feature that we are bringing to the WebEx wireless phones so that it has feature parity with our Cisco desk phones. Now I'm using extension mobility, but you don't have to use extension mobility to get this feature. This feature will work even when you are signed out of extension mobility. In this next demonstration, we're gonna take a look at a new feature called Auto Answer. So all I do is dial it from a different phone and then I'll go ahead and see that it has automatically auto answered. And we would set this up just as we would any other Cisco IP phone on UC Manager on the directory number. So now we're gonna take a look at a different feature that supports dark theme or the dark mode. So the first thing I'm going to do is go into the device settings just to show you where you would enable this. So we're going to go into the display settings and we have something called dark theme. So I'm going to enable that. And now supported apps will also switch to the dark theme. And so you can see in the actual Cisco phone app, it is now dark. So this can provide value in environments where you need to reduce eye strain or in very bright environments so you can make the device more readable. So this is a great feature to have the ability to support dark mode or dark theme. Another new feature we have added is wireless access point connection information. And what this can do is provide quickly the ability to gain information about the access point connection to the phone. So on the device, there is a Cisco Apps folder, and I'm going to pull up the app called Call Quality. And as you can see, we have a lot of information, the SSID, the access point name, the BSSID, the channel, the RSSID, the actual noise and channel utilization. So this is a nice 
handy feature we have added that can be used when doing site survey or when troubleshooting. Another feature we have added is the ability to receive a push to talk message even when the screen is locked. So you're going to want to have the screen to lock in order to either save battery or for security. So it would be handy when the phone is locked to receive a push to talk. So let's go ahead and test this. So I have another WebEx wireless phone off screen that I will use to initiate a push to talk. And now, as you can see, we are receiving the push to talk message. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. And now I'll log into the device just so you can see what the push to talk looks like when the phone is unlocked. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Now we are going to take a look at another feature we have introduced, and this is the ability to access your personal directory contacts on Cisco Unified Communications Manager. So the personal directory allows you to store personal contacts to the Cisco Unified Communications Manager rather than to a single phone. And that way you can access your personal directory contacts from any phone. So you can see here that we've looked at the contacts here on UC Manager and there are three contacts associated to this particular user. And what we'll do now is by looking at the phone, I'm in the actual contacts area. And if I push the sync now, I will be able to pull those contacts down from UC Manager onto the phone. And keep in mind in this use case, it's actually using extension mobility. So you can use this function with extension mobility. So there are the three contacts that have been pulled down from UC Manager. And I'll go ahead and select one. We'll select Mark. And you can see there is the phone number that I can go ahead and dial. And of course I can associate multiple phone numbers to this contact if I wanted to do so. So that is the overview of the personal directory contacts feature.